welcome back to another series. This is a new series for us, and we're, our, as you can tell, we're at an airport. Which airport are we at, and how long did it take us to get here? Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. So, we hit rush hour traffic, um, but we made it here. We're here at the airport, and we are on our way to... Calgary. <laughs> Calgary. And then to... London Heathrow. London Heathrow. We are going to the British Isles for another cruise video and can't wait to bring you along. So come enjoy the fun. flight from Calgary to London. Here we go. We had a couple hour layover here. Um, I've been really tired so I didn't, didn't chat much. We have made it to our hotel here in Salisbury. It is super cute. I love the colors. Um, we are at the Caboose Hotel. Mm -hmm. Caboose Inn. Caboose okay. Inn Hotel. I'm not sure. It's super cute. Um, and so we're just going to have a little bit of snack and then we'll see how the rest of our day take us. We came over here to the Ox Row Inn, as was recommended by the front desk person at our hotel, and we decided to get a jug of Pims. So if you've never had Pims, Pims is like an herbal liqueur, and you mix it with sparkling lemonade, and it's put a bunch of fruit in it, and it's delicious. And first time I had this was, what, 2012? I think 2012, uh, when I was working the 2012 Olympics, and it was amazing. That is it from us on our travel day. Um, here from LA to Salisbury. Uh, we made it. It's literally about like 6 p.m. and we're just trying really hard not to fall asleep because we're so tired. Keep watching and you'll get to see a little bit of our adventures over in Salisbury. The window over the door that you came in through is one bit of remaining 13th century glass. That's two beautiful people. This is the tomb of William Longspay, uh, who was the half-brother of King John, son of Carter, and King Richard of Lionheart. First person to be buried here. He's also a good example here of how colourful the place would be. Because if you look at the base of the tomb here, you can see the remnants of the paint on that wooden base. If you imagine all of these painted like that, all the arches painted in similar sort of fashion. This would have been a much brighter, colourful place. If you listen carefully, which I never hear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can hear the water, so it's quite near. And in 1915, it did flood. You can see that picture there. That's the last time. Oh. So there. 
Oh, you see where it's yeah. come to? Right there. Yeah. So the theory is, I'm sure Robert's already said, as long as the gravel stays wet, the cathedral will stay up. Yeah. Behind you on your left as well is the reason this place is called a cathedral. This is the bishop's throne in Greek, a cathedra. Lord Hungerford died in 1459. And his tomb has a dog. That's older than my country. This is part of the original wall with some of the original paint still in it. So on the left are the seven deadly sins, on the right are the seven holy virtues. We're on the bus to Stonehenge, and there's no air conditioning, so it's toasty. It's quite warm here today. It's what? What's the weather outside right now? 80 something? 82. <laughs> it's 82. And humid. Oh, and a moderate thunderstorm warning. It's warm. Ah, <sighs> we made it to Stonehenge. trying to take care of our people to make sure that they don't get too sore and injure themselves because you don't have your knee braces on. Right. Because I didn't think I'd need them. Yeah. Because it's a bit of a walk. It's about, what, a half a mile, I think you said? Yeah. So it's a half a mile walk up if you choose to walk. How much were our tickets? They were $90.15. And that's for two people. Right. And that's for the bus from Salisbury as well as entrance to the stones. So. Um, but we don't get like full access because that's only like certain like specialty tours, late night, early morning, but we get standard access. We have made it to a henge. It's there. And there's sheep here. Hi sheep! Stonehenge is one of those like cool things that's like kind of surreal, that it's as old as it is. It's a beautiful place. But I will also never be able to think of Stonehenge or see Stonehenge and not think of the movie This Is Final Tap. 
which is an amazing movie, by the way. Um, and yes, it's from the 1980s. I don't care. It's great. Um, it is still so true to life, especially when you know the industry. <laughs> it's so true to life. And one of their noteworthy songs is called Stonehenge. Famous Stonehenge sheep. Okay. Yeah. They should be. It is quite toasty warm. As you can see from this little one breathing quite heavily in his lovely wool coat. Or her lovely wool coat. Very warm. When I chit Hundreds of years before the dawn of history lived a strange race of people. The Druids. It is much, much smaller than I expected. Much smaller. No one knows who they were or what they were doing. But their legacy remains hewn into the living rock of Stone Age. It's really cool. And our friends the sheep here, they are the lawnmowers because the grass and the ground here is too delicate for heavy machinery. So they get let out and get to munch on the grass all night long. The sun used to rise directly over this stone, which is the heel stone. And Stonehenge is old enough that the Earth's axis has shifted, and it now no longer goes directly over it, it's just to the side. But this thing has been ex around in existence long enough that the Earth's axis has made an impact on the alignment. That's the cheapest groundskeepers you'll ever find. Sheep! Well, that's pretty much it from us for today. We missed a little bit at dinner. We had an amazing dinner at a place called Hickson. Um, we didn't even get pictures of our food, but it was really, really good. We had a drink tonight at our hotel, which is the Caboose Hotel. And it was really, really good. What did you get? Uh, one of the mermaid gins, the fruitier one of it, and so, tonic. Mm -hmm. and, and you? And I got the passion fruit kaiferinia. Now, the mermaid gins are from the Isle of Wight, which is kind of cool because it's a local gin. Um, and we always like those. So, really good cocktails. It was a bit, of a, a bit of a wait, but this is our hotel, so we didn't have to really worry about, oh, we don't want to wait. We just have to go upstairs at the end. We both had something that we really wanted to do. You, Mom really wanted to do the cathedral, and I really wanted to do Stonehenge. So we each got to do something that we wanted to. And we got to see one of the four existing copies of the Magna Carta. Which, that, the writing on that is so tiny. Um, again, no video of that because it explicitly says no photography and no video recording. So, sorry y'all. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it from us. We're going to wrap up and head on to bed because tomorrow we are seeing our friends Nick and Wendy and their beautiful dogs. As well as our friend Jane and her family for dinner. So that's all from Salisbury. So, farewell Salisbury and we'll see you soon.